wondering, is this the white male, 21 years of age, six foot two, who's into rock music, movies, jogging, and quiet evenings at home? You bet I am, by the way. Nice to meet you. Wow, these private rooms are very schmick, aren't they? You know, apparently, you can say anything as loud as you want, and no one would hear a thing. Like, I could just say, come uh, what? <laughs> Thank you so much for responding so promptly. You know, never in my life would I thought would an ad in the newspaper for one of these. But one morning I woke up to the wet sounds of my cat, Choo Choo the Third. And I face, and well, I widened my eyes and I thought, why not? You know, so I ran down to the publisher and I said, if you don't give me a big bold advertisement, smack bang in the middle, then I will kill you! <laughs> in a woman. Oh well, you're welcome. <laughs> What's that? You like the timbre of my voice? Well, you can thank my father for that, for that one. Not so much my mother, no. She didn't really have a voice. The spasmodic dysphonia. <laughs> you know, every night she'd call me down for dinner. You know, she forced me to take dance lessons. God, it was horrible. That's right, every Saturday morning, she'd drag me out of bed and take me to your on the spot pump school of dance. I was in a class of about six, and of course I was the only male. It was a three-part class. We did jazz, tap, and hip-hop. <laughs> enormous amount of pressure doing hip-hop being the only male. In jazz, we were doing this horribly effeminate number, and I will never forget the time this squad pump entered the classroom. Okay, class, today we are using the chairs. Firstly, grab your chair firmly, and then go all the way down! <laughs> and I was just, oh, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, get down, my darling! Get yourself down, express yourself! that to me. Oh no, that slipped out. <laughs> Darling, do not fret. I am not gay. I'm bisexual. <laughs> you know, there's a difference. Children are all innately bisexual. If you took a child to Plato's retreat, you know, the sex club, he'd end up liking both sexes. On second thoughts, you probably don't want to take a child to Plato's retreat. Besides, I don't even know any children. You have wonderful eyes. <laughs> They're so deep. I feel like I want to take care of you. You know, in some ways, you're like a little girl. And in others, you're like a grown woman. You wear eyeshadow like a woman. You, you dress like a woman. I'm sorry. I'm deeply emotional. I like to cry. No, no, I like to cry. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cry right now. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> evenings at home. <gasps> we agree on everything. I want to cry again. <gasps> oh, well, suck it up. If you want a stronger man, you can go talk to Bob. That's right, my male lover. You know, I never liked him anyway. He always smelled of deceased fish after being thrown out by a man and then excreted by a whale. <laughs> Bob Hopkins is a lying two-faced <laughs> Okay. I feel like I'm irritating you. <laughs> you know what? Let's just start 
gosh, again. Yes, yeah, stop. Stop the game. Okay. Hi, I'm Bruce. Prudence. Oh, that's, that's a lovely name. That's a lovely dress. That's a lovely nail polish. You have it on your toes, too. Well, show me. Oh, well, I think it's wonderful. You feel for enough to put your foot on the table. I want to marry you! Yes, because I feel ready to make a long-term commitment. Yes, I see it all. <laughs> In Connecticut, and we'll have two cats and two cars, and you won't even have to worry about Bob because he'll be shit out by a whale! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 